Hi, welcome to another Ableton Live 9 tutorial. This is tutorial number two, from session view to arrangement view and back. So this is a sort of empty live set. I just have uh, two audio files in here, uh, two audio tracks, excuse me. And um, we're going to be working with sounds that we already have in our computer today. Um, we added them in, and here I have my uh, group three sounds. That's one of uh, the class groups. And we are interested in cats. So, and today we're going to learn about session view versus arrangement view. And we're going to um, frolic with cats. So, Let's just get some cat sounds up here. There's some cat calls. I'm going to actually listen to cat fighting. There wasn't really any fighting going on. It wasn't as good as you hope. And then some meowing. Everybody likes little meowing. Uh, here's some more meows going on. And I saw down here there was also purring. Purring, not so easy to... Uh, to record. So good view, good job there, um, group. So, <clears throat> so here we have uh, our first track of audio, cat calls, purring and purring, and also meowing and meowing too. And um, well, this is what session view is good for. It's for trying out clips and things. So we could say, oh, I want to hear the cats calls, and once the cat calls start, maybe then we'll, oh, there's a cat call, and then I could go to some meowing, if there were some meowing there, and then I could say, we'll get the purring going there, oh, that's good purr. Try these meows out here. Oh, good, good meows. Good meows, just plain old meows. And then another purring. Uh, this one's not looking too too promising. I'm, I'm looking down here at this tracking across here. Well, this is what people do in session view. They, they try stuff out and, you know, think, okay, how's this all going to fit together? And if they, if they did decide that, you know, this is how it was going to work, maybe you'd be like, oh, well, actually, I like the meows down here and this meow here, and then I'm going to uh, have this really great purring, and this is really good purring. I'm going to copy it and put it at the end. And now I can run down my master and say, okay, we're going to start this scene, master scene one, and it's just going to be cat calls. And after those cat calls, we're going to have purring and meowing together. And then there's some more purring and some meows. And we'll just finish up with some purring. <coughs> Excuse me. So the general idea of session view is that you can just kind of have try stuff out. You see if this meowing goes with this purring, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Normally, of course, this is uh, these drums with this uh, funky bass, or should I have this, uh, you know, metal pad playing here, or whatever. But it's really just sort of forgetting an idea of how things are going to work. Um, let me just stop them all here. However, if you have a clip and you want to get, let's just say, some better meows, I'm clicking on meows here and I see the clip down here. If you don't see this clip, come down here and click here. If you have this one, 
it just shows you where to put audio effects. And um, we may get back to that today, probably not. But right here is the uh, the the clip editor. So then you can see down here, um, you know, the the meows. And they're kind of woefully far apart. But that is not something that you can edit while you're in session view. So let's just stop for a minute here and take our first trip over to session view. But before we do that, um, I like to keep things sane. So what I'm going to do is take this and control click on it and rename it meows whoops no i'm not going to i'm going to duplicate it because i'm more into duplicating it okay now i'm going to control click on it and say rename it it's going to be meows2 and now oh you know i'm going to even change the color because that's something you can do by control clicking on it. And then you can see that this is going to be the one that we're going to work on. Okay, so to get it over to arrangement view, we're in session view now, grab it like you were going to gr drag it somewhere and you'll see the little sheet of paper underneath it come up. That means the pointer has it. So once it has it, you can just push the tab key and here you are. Right, and you can see that it's trying to drop our meows too in here. I'm going to put it all the way at the front, and it's even playing it already, which is funny. It, it, this just never shut off, but we can't get at it right now. I'll just stop this. We can't get at it right now because session view and arrangement view aren't quite synced together. They have to kind of update each other, and this is how you update them. You can push this here, that'll update this track. This would update this track, but if you push this one, it'll just update all of them. So now these are ready to be worked on in um, session view. And you can see how long this Meows track is here. So I can come up here, and when I see that funny magnifying glass, I click on it, and I drag upward to make this much, much smaller, so I can see the end of the track there. And if it weren't on the page, I could just scroll back and forth. Okay. <clears throat> when we're in session view, I also like to have my loop around this, we can edit a lot faster and better. So just for example, I can just go, I can just take my pointer, I can click, and drag, and I can just delete. And I'll just do it again here. Clicking, dragging, delete. Click, drag, delete. I don't know what those are. I don't want those. And click, drag, delete. Hey, that is just awesome. Now I could take my meows and move them closer together. And as you will notice, this, these are the loop brackets. And there we go. And if I highlight that loop, it'll, it'll um, keep playing them if I, if I hit the space bar. So I just hit the space bar. And now that's a whole lot better than having to wait for like 25 minutes for that silly cat to meow, you know? So that's good. And then if we want to even get kind of further, tighter into it, we can go up here again till we see that magnifying glass, drag, whoops, downward, down into the left. And as we do that, it expands and expands. And also the divisions here, it, it sort of defaults to a grid, get larger. So, um, by the way, to make them smaller or larger, you can also control click on this and say, 
I want the very narrowest of the adaptive grid. And that's what it's giving me. So now we can see that, oh, look at that meow. It's, it, it pretty much ends there. So let's just go from here all the way over to there and we can get, you know, meowing all the time. So I just delete those. Oh, I don't want to wait around for meowing. I'm just going to delete this too. There we go. And that. And now I can move them all together just like that. <clears throat> But wait, is that all you can do? No, of course not. I can take this and I can option click on it and just drag those sounds back like that. So, meow, 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 meow. Right? Do you believe me? Let's see how it works. Oops, like that. Oh, I just want to get that other loop bracket over here. There we go. Okay. Here we go. Oh, awesome. Meow, 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 meow. Meow, 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 meow. What could be better than that? Um, so now if we 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 have this much better um meow version. What if we want to take it back to the arrangement view? These are all separate. So to put them all back together, we're going to uh, click on them and then hold the shift key down so you can get all of them selected. And once they're all selected, control click, you're controlling and clicking on this title bar here, and you'll want to consolidate them. And that makes it all into one Clip. So now it's renamed it for me, Meows to number two. Well, that is just so awesome. Now there's just one other little thing I'm going to do here, which is I'm going to move this all the way up to the beginning. And this is well, because I have this voodoo feeling that, um, that when you do that, it, it sets the the bar to where you like it. Um, and oh, there's nothing to be done. It's almost three bars, but not quite. See, so it starts on one bar, and then there's the second bar, and there's so it's really almost two bars. I guess we could make it a little longer, right? And then, no. Okay. I thought I could just drag it. Well, we'll figure that one out another time. Anyway, so I'm going to take this now, and I could do what I did before, which is uh, click on it and then just pull downward a little bit, and you see that piece of paper, and now I could say go to the other scene. But what I'm going to do, because I don't want this here, I want to record over here later, I'm going to click on it and then say command X, meaning cut. So I cut it and copied it, and now I'm going to hit the tab key, come back over here, and I'm, I'm scrolling down. I know it's hard to see that that's exactly what I'm doing, but that's what I'm doing. I'm scrolling down, and I'm going to click over here and say Command V, paste it. So now we've got Meows 2, and we've got Meows 2, 2. And we can come back down here and see just how um, Meows 2 is doing. There we go. Meow, 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 meow. Ah, but we immediately notice that it is not looping. So we come down here to our, um, to our clip viewer and we I would love to have just a little more space. If I could get rid of my little info viewer here without shutting off. Let's see if I can do it. 
there we go. Um, without shutting off the video recorder. My video recorder's off button is right there too. Of course you can't see it. Um, so now we have our Meows 2 down here and um, what was I going to Oh, it didn't loop. Exactly. So we can come in here and say, hey, please loop for me. And it will do so from now on. And we might also like to tell it, um, uh, give it a, oops, it's not doing it. There we go. Oh, that's just great. Well, that is super nice, but one thing that I'm noticing is that the recording level is kind of low for these meow meow meows. So what I'm going to do is come over here to the sample pane and turn the uh, gain up a little bit until these are a little more sizable. So I feel like they're a little, you know, a little more to be dealt with there. Okay. <clears throat> now let's give it a listen. Much better. So there's our um, meows, and let's um, let's take it a, a step further so that we can. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna um, option click on this and move it over here, and then I'm even going to rename it again, just because I'm crazy that way, just the kind of thing I do. There we go. A lime green, and I'm going to call it, uh, I'm going to rename it and say, um, since we've never used it, I'm going to say this is Meows 2, oh, I'll just call it Low, because I have a plan here. So there you go, Meows 2 Low. Um, there's other things that you can do down here in the um, clip viewer, and one of them also, I don't know if anyone's noticed it yet, is, that what sounds great, but wouldn't it sound great if it was as low as a lion? Well, if you come over here to transpose, Awesome. And then when you get back to normal, it almost sounds crazy. So <clears throat> that's one way to do it would just be transpose the whole thing. But we are even more amazing than that. There's another way to do it, which is to come over to the envelope. The envelope just sort of means the moving uh, parameters that are here. And we say clip, and then we say transposition modulation. That's the transpose, transposition, modulation. There it is. So now we can say, we can take this one back down to that nice low we liked before. Right? So we get that very nice, um, uh, blah, 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 sort of howly sound. And then with these last three, what if we did something funny, like kind of did a little harmony action there? And by the way, there's another mode here. I'm just going to hit the control button and tell it to go into draw mode. Actually, before I do that, uh, if you do it this way right now, you have to double click and then move that, and there's a, there's a ramp. If you put it in draw mode, and then we'll, I'll control click again. There we go. Draw mode. We can just go, they'll move more like blocks. So, whoop, there we go. Oops. There we go. So, 
sounds a little ridiculous, but uh, there we go. Okay, well that's crazy. So, uh, just to, it's, it's examples, of course. So I'm going to go back up to my, we'll call that one done. Oops. And, okay, so now, ah, I've got to stop that crazy noise. So now, um, let's say we once again had sort of a, an idea that, well, we're starting to like this. We like this with this. We like the um, the cat calls at the beginning, but then we want to hear, um, I'm going to delete me meows too. Um, let's say we then get to hear meows too, too, and then uh, we get to hear some purring, and then we want to hear a combination of of uh, meows two two, and I'm going to bring that down to here. So we've got cat calls, then meows two two with purring, then meows two two with meows two low, where it does a little bit of singing, and then we'll just have a kind of uh, a sort of purr off here at the end. So. Now we've decided on our arrangement, we're going to come clicking down through here and play that. And in most cases, if I wasn't giving um, uh, a, a demo, I would probably do that. But since um, we're trying to get to the end of this sometime today, um, let's just say that that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to stop this. Um, the arrangement view has been running the whole time. What you're going to want to do is Click on this until it goes back to one, 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 right? And then <clears throat> this is the record button. And if you pushed it, it would start recording. Um, oops, I'm getting ahead of myself. Sorry, come down here and you have to click an input and click resampling. Your input is going to be resampling. You don't want it to come from somewhere else because you don't want to accidentally overwrite all this brilliant work that you have here, right? Then the audio goes to the master. Master, good, good. And then what you want to do is arm both of your tracks. That means that they can record. If your tracks are only arming one at a time, you may have to um, either go to the preferences and change exclusive arming to off or you can just, um, I believe it's option click on them or command click. Can't remember which one it is, but they should both be armed because they're both going to get recorded into arrangement view. And then what we want to do is come up to the record button and instead of just uh, clicking on it, we want to shift click on it. So push the shift down and click. So now this is waiting for us to start playing anything and it will start recording. One thing I nearly do am doing wrong here is you have to turn off looping or it will only record into the loop brackets in the other view. So it's very important to turn this off. Okay, so here we go. We're going to just run through this, these scenes real quick here. Here we go. Boom. And as you can see, it's started recording. And we're going to get a cat call in a second. Okay, that's good enough for me. Scene two, <laughs> meowing and purring. That's good enough for me. Now we've got the... The kind of denouement of the purring. And finally, we go out with purring. And somewhere over there, we're going to be fading out, because that should do it for us. So good. Stop. Stop. And now, <clears throat> we hit the tab key, and we go and take a look. And it looks like 
everything has reported. We've got to hit the uh, play button here. Uh, the arrangement mode synchronization button, or whatever the heck it is. And then we have, and you can see that these are um, marked just as your clips were. Um, I'm going to just um, click here and make them small so we can see the whole thing and see it run through. There we go. So now that's the piece that we just recorded. All right, we get the general idea. So that is how you record your clips over into this view. Um, you can also just copy them and stick them over here. But that is, if you have a sort of idea of what you want to do in session view and you want to record it over here, that's how you do it. So I think that is quite a bit for one tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next tutorial for Ableton 9. Thanks for watching.